let's look at these this glossary of terms abscissa the x coordinate in a cartesian coordinate system that's the abscissa the x coordinate absolute value the absolute value of a real number x denoted by with the, the x with the two bars around it is defined by x is just whatever the number is is just that number if it is already greater than zero that means if it is positive if it's a negative number then multiply by a negative one if that means if it is less than zero so the the um absolute value will always take the positive value is always positive the absolute value of negative four is positive four then you have acceleration the rate of change of velocity with time so if your your car is parked it's not accelerating if you're on the highway can going at 80 km per hour constant you're not accelerating if you press the gas and speed up then you're accelerating if you press the brakes you will slow down your accelerating so negative acceleration which we call deceleration acute angle the angle between measures between 0 and 90 degrees okay so it's greater than 0 and less than 90 degrees acute angle triangle an acute triangle is a triangle with all three of its angles being acute you have the adjacent being next to or adjoining adjacent angles are two angles that have the same vertex and share a common arm so the adjacent angles they share a common arm they meet at a corner in a right angle triangle the adjacent side with respect to an acute angle is the shorter side which so that's that means it's not the hypotenuse but is the shorter side which together with the hypotenuse forms the given angle a joint matrix the adjoint of a two by two matrix denoted adja if the matrix is a the adjoint adj of that angle satisfy the following oh you have a b c d so when you find the adjoint you interchange a and d put d where a was and a, d, a where d was then you change the sign of b and c so b and c remain in place but they are the signs are changed then you have ab al algebraic expression it's a combination of numbers variables and operations for instance you have this is an algebraic expression so you don't have an equal sign there algebraic term an algebraic expression that is strictly a multiplication of constants and variables for example you have 6x cubed minus 3x squared plus 5x contains three algebraic terms you have the 6x cubed then you have the negative 3x squared then you have the 5x so the terms are separated by plus and minus not by multiplication and division all right an algorithm is a process contain consisting of a specific sequence of operation to solve a certain type of problems all right alternate interior angles angles located inside a set of parallel lines and on opposite sides of the transversal also known as z angles all right z angles We'll see what that is about later. Altitude, the altitude of a triangle is a perpendicular distance of a vertex to the line that is side of the side opposite. A triangle has three altitudes. Alright. So the altitude would be a perpendicular line. The distance are up the perpendicular distance a distance straight up straight down straight across and so on that means 90 degrees to it to the tip or the vertex 
appreciation an increase in value of an asset that is not due to altering its state that means the value goes up generally house and land would increase in value over time especially if you have development around it the price keeps going up arc a portion of a circle also portion of any curve the area the area of a plane figure is a measure of how much of that figure is enclosed how much of that plane is enclosed by the figure arithmetic mean the average of a set of values found by dividing the sum of the values by the amount of values so to find the arithmetic mean you add up all the values and divide that what you get the sum that you get by the number of values arithmetic sequence a sequence of elements a1 a2 a3 and so on such that the difference of the successive terms is a constant d for example the sequence 2 5 8 11 14 has a common difference of 3 so it's 3 2 plus 3 give you 5 5 plus 3 give you 8 8 plus 3 give you 11 11 plus 3 give you 14 what would be the next term it would be 17 14 plus 3 give you 17 and so on so that's an arithmetic sequence and you have the associative property a binary operation that mean uh, on two things and a set s is associative if for all a b and c those would be like numbers then a times b in bracket first then multiply c is the same as a times and you multiply b and c separately and multiply a by them so you get the same answer if you multiply a and b first then what you get you multiply by c same thing you get if you multiply b and c first then whatever you get you multiply by a you have the asymptote a straight line is said to be an asymptote to a of a curve if the curve has the property of becoming and staying are arbitrarily close to the line as the distance from the origin increases to infinity that means it gets closer and closer and closer to that line but never touches it All right so you have for example 1 over x if you plot 1 over x the x-axis is an asymptote because it keeps getting closer and closer to the x-axis but never touches it and you have the average the average of a set of values is the number which represents the usual or typical value that in that set average is sin anonymous with a measure of central which measures of central tendency these include the mean median and the mode so i know most people they say the mean is the average but the median is also an average and the mode is also an average right average of a set of values the number which represents the usual or the typical value in that set axis of symmetry is a line which passes through a figure such that the portion of the figure on one side of the line is the mirror image of the portion of the figure on the other side of the line that means if you cut out the figure you is like a butterfly you can fold it around the axis of symmetry and what you have on the other side matches on one side what you have on one side matches what you have on the other side right okay so you have the bar graph a diagram shows showing a system of connections or interrelations between two or more things by using bars so in statistics you see what the bar graph looks like base the base of a polygon is one of its sides for example the side of a triangle the base of a solid 
is one side is one of its faces for example the flat face of a cylinder the base of a number system is the number of digits it contains for example the base of the binary system is 2 or the base of the base 10 system is 10 and so on and we are in indices you also have the number that you're raising to the power you call the base when it comes to figures plain figures and solids people generally refer to the base as the lowest part that on which it stands like the part that stands on the floor or it could be on top of a table or some surface we call that the base right? by modal having two modes which are equally the most frequently occurring number in a list so if you have a set of numbers and you have one number three times and the other only two or one times then the one that occurs three times is the mode but suppose you have two numbers that are there three times and every other number is there two times or just one time then you have two modes one that occurs three times and the other that occurs three times so it's bimodal and binary number number written in base 2 in the base in the base 2 number system the digits used are 1 and zeros. for example you have the 11011 the subscript 2 there shows that it's base 2 binomial an algebraic expression consisting of a sum of or difference of two terms so x plus y or x minus y or it could be x plus 3 or x plus 1 x minus 1 and so on you have two terms the sum or difference of two terms that's binomial bisector to cut something in half for example an angle bisector is a line that divides one angle into two angles of equal sides so it cuts the angle into two equal halves so you bisect a 60 degree you get 30 degrees on one side and 30 degrees on the other side capacity is the maximum amount that something can contain usually call that the volume the Cartesian plane a plane with a point selected as an origin some length selected as a unit of distance and two perpendicular lines that intersect at the origin with positive and negative directions selected on each line traditionally the lines are called x which is drawn to the from left to right with positive directions to the right of the origin and y drawn from bottom to top with positive directions upward of the origin so that's the x-axis and that's the y-axis coordinates of a point are determined by the distance of this point from the lines and the sign of the coordinates are determined by whether the point is in the positive or the negative direction from the origin a line segment that connects two points on a curve All right. Chord. The diameter of a circle is a special chord that passes through the center of the circle. But you do have other chords. Once it touches two points of the circumference inside the circle, once that straight line does that, it's a chord. Circle. The set of points on a plane that are all at a fixed distance from a given point which is called the center all right and of course that fixed distance you know what it's called it's the radius the fixed distance of those all those points from a from the center the given point circle oh that's what we did a while ago the circumference of a circle is the distance along the circle it's a special name for the perimeter of a circle so it's really the perimeter of the circle we call it circumference you have class interval 
non-overlapping intervals which together contain every piece of data in a survey so when we come to group distribution in statistics you study class interval coefficients the constant multiplicating factor of a mathematical object for example in the expression 4d plus 5t squared plus 3s the 4, 5, and 3 are coefficients of the variables d, t, square, and s respectively. So the coefficient is the number that the coefficient of the variable is the number that multiply the variable. We should say 5x. The coefficient is 5. Say 3x squared, the coefficient of x squared is 3, and so on. Alright. Alright. Then alright, what we're going to do. It's break at this time and later on we look from collinear onwards so I'll see you later